All right, welcome back to Codes and Coffee, guys. Today we have a 2004 Ford F-150, and this is the 5.4 Triton. And customer complaint today is that there's a power steering leak each time he goes home to his driveway. There's a nice little puddle. going to go ahead and show you how to replace the low pressure line. That's where we found the leak. So the leak is coming right from that bottom hose. All right. So till then, We'll see you on the flip side. Reservoir is just being emptied. That's what's going on. Here. I think there's a one fastener holds this pipe right up there somewhere. Like the rest is all. Uh, Should we have on cap cap the uh, reservoir? Or no. no. Just taking it easy. We're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna make a tool that grab. Our <laughs> All right, you're playing around here. Exacto knife. It's gonna leak. You know it's gonna leak. You know, although you sound like calm, but there's like a little <laughs> certain something to your tone. You know, this is how you do it. You fucking cut your throat. This is how you do it. <laughs> if you, you do you something do it different wrong. and you have to cut my my my, my seatbelt. Yes. Thank you. Let's lower the fucker down. Like, give me the light. Give me the light. Cut my seatbelt. Six hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. How far are we going down? All the way down. You just barely touch it. We're gonna stop picking up on the top. You know? Let's go in here. We're gonna remove our. That's the line we're after, okay? The finger power. <laughs> I pull that thing right up. That's a strong clip. Gonna use a little something in there. Let's use a little bit of W. So this oh, is w. so that's the, you call that the low pressure um, yes. return line. Uh, yeah, this is the one that basically goes into our cooler, and this is also being stuck right here. You know what we're gonna do with that also, right? We're gonna be careful when we cut it because you don't want to cut into that plastic reservoir. Okay, gotta be careful. And this is. This line comes out of here, goes into our cooler. They put a power steering cooler, and the line was basically just rusted out and just dripping. So I'm being very careful here. This is gonna, this, this make it ugly. This is not the tool I want here. Yeah, that's very careful. Look what I'm cutting, okay? On the side. Cut it like that. Jiggle it. Maybe you cut the first surface, but it should pop out of there. Let's cut a little bit deeper. All right, so that's that. Now, the line's also being clipped on somewhere right down there, Mikey. Again, I want you to look at it. You can see it. It's down there. It's totally rusted away. So we're gonna just break that thing right off because it's, it's you know, it's it's funny. That's where they really rust, where the line attaches to the frame, or clip, or something. Christ. You know, 
Is this somehow reusable? It's pretty hard to get to though. All right, it's fine. Like I think more than likely it's gonna go down. All right, let's lift the bad way up again. One more time, one last time. That we don't want. So we're just asking it very gently to get out of the way, right? Okay. We just we're gonna basically twist this, ask it, and why do we change this? It all rust the line right here, it's just pissing along. And that's where that rubber boot was. Oh, yeah. So let's rain the pipes, let's wait for the new ones. You can clearly see this is all New England rust for you right there. Oh yeah. Road salt, rust, hot, cold weather. Good job. Alright, let's wait till new parts gets in. That's the transmission, I mean power steering cooler Mikey right there. Nice. This is the high pressure line, okay? And it looks good. This right? is the low pressure line. So the low pressure line goes into the uh, cooler. That's what we change it, okay? Nice. But there's another line that coming in too, which is from the rack itself. I'm sorry, power steering box. Goes into that. That's high pressure. All right, Mike, let's leave the patient alone. Beautiful. So that's the pipe. Okay, well. Nice. Look at that. Jeez. Uh, what's up with this? Here, let's lower the sucker down. Come on. Lower the sucker down. Jeez, coming down in a hurry. The beast. Watch the wire. That's the old one. Um, you know, there's there's gonna be some discrepancies here, so. Like this. This is more than likely bent, okay? So don't. But it is kind of look like that. Look like. Oh, yeah, that's right. yeah, it's so actually cool. the exact animal. All right. So when we steal this, and when we steal that, put it into that, 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 and we're done here. How do we steal things? We just simply go in. This is how you steal stuff. This is not the right tool for this. But let's see if we can get away with it. What are the odds of this little itsy bitsy tool working for this? Sometimes we need to challenge ourselves. Why? Because, I don't know, maybe we're bored. <laughs> so we're gonna take it off slowly and do not let this, oh. let this fly. <laughs> Mikey, where are you going? Oh. Wait, get get oh. over here. Oh. I am in the... <laughs> All right, maybe just push it a little bit. All right, it does pop out of there. Let's use the right tool, shall we? What's the right tool? The one with a little bigger mouth, that's all. This is a snap-on? Yes. Nice. Watch the snap-on go doink! I'm gonna oh. keep one here. Then I'm gonna steal another one from here, Mikey. This one, I'm gonna keep it intact. One shot, okay? I'm gonna hold like this. Boom! Switcheroo! That was a switcheroo! Do we need that one? Uh, this clip is kind of extremely rusty and top of that. Oh, yeah. I may, I don't know. I'm kind of debating, you know. Well, it's just gonna make that one leak in the future, too. You know, it's that possibility, but I like, you know, let's see. Let's see how it cooperates. So the idea where with this, Mikey, look, you're just gonna go behind it and you just somehow open it and you hope for the best. It does go into the first one. So, and then this is the side. Go just gonna go gently. Let's get this out of the way. How do they get tangled like so? <laughs> they don't want to come out. They get that. You know, things don't fit anymore. You know, stuff like that, you know. Do we have any foreign object? Well, yeah, look. See oh, what it does? Oh, yep. That's all part of the old pipe. 
and we wonder why it leaked. Look at this. Yeah, it probably sweats, dries up, sweats, dries up, freezes, and then fucking starts creating all that rust. Yeah, what it does, it just it simply collects moisture in you. Like, you know what I want? I want some lobster, man. I'm gonna move the lobster. Lobster. You know, like, you know, like. Hmm. Uh, perfect. I know the place. Where? Hampton Beach. It's oh. called Browns. I used to go there. It was close to the the other beach. R yep, right on the marsh. It's between Salisbury and uh, Hampton. Oh, yeah. Well, right next to Seabrook. All right, I'm, if my memory serves me correct, Mike, I want to go behind this, okay? And I'm going to just somehow shove this up here for now, okay? Let's see if it cooperates first. And then... I'm going to go all the way up there, Mike, somehow. Okay. Now, it's, it's got a rotate, it's gonna do all kinds of stuff here, so bear with me until this thing kind of. Okay, uh, I'm going the wrong way though, don't you think? <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn. Like, what the heck was that? Oh, just the uh, oh, tag here. Oh, yeah, it's gonna turn like that, Mikey. But is it gonna turn like that? What's going on here? It, it literally goes over the frame too. Mm. Okay, it's gonna go like this, right? Let's go like that first. Uh, it's gonna go right behind the uh, think so. that hose. Yeah. Oh, oh. And then we got the clip on too. Clip is hitting too. Like somebody almost had to be up there and pull it up, you know? See? Okay, I'm just going to Do you want to climb on the bumper and I push it up to you? Um, just like uh, we did with the light, light bulb exchange there. Look like. Nice. Get it up there. Hey! This is going to go like this. Uh, we're getting close. Still don't mean nothing, but I think we're getting close, don't you think? Looks good. Looks... There we go. I like that angle. Uh, me too. Okay, now. Okay. Just gonna pull this back, Mikey. I don't know where we're gonna rest this stuff is at. So let's leave it there for now. Let's see, where is this clippy? The one that we basically fell in love with. Well, I don't know. Hopefully for the good reasons. Oof. This thing, Mikey. Oh, it's right here. That's the hole, right? Yep. How do, oh, hey, you stay there. Oof. Why do I feel like it's the other one, man? Okay, there we go. Nice snaps. Okay. We should be able to see this bad boy coming coming at you. Okay, it is. I see. Yeah, it's kind of binding right in the frame just for a second. I need to get in there with this. See if I can just unlock it. This one also had his own little clip on, as you remember. Okay. Okay. You know, I have to say, that's not bad. Um, right behind everything, we can let's see for a second. Ooh. Ah. Come on, you. Ooh. Now, it's more, I mean, it's not an exact copy, you know, but it's getting much better, Mikey. I'm liking this now. No kinky, no nutty. 
happy oh much much happy okay good now let's hook up this we're gonna hook up this dump okay and obviously fill the power steering and be a nice guy reservoir you know okay so this thing Mikey let's get this sucker out of there I left a 10 millimeter there if you remember. So this we're gonna basically stick it in here first, okay? And this is gonna go like that, okay? This is gonna go right here, okay? A little bit of love juice here would be nice. Is that power steel open? Okay, so I'm gonna tighten that up. And then leave all the tents in back here. There's more stuff we gotta figure out with the engine. The water pump still being held by additional stuff, Mikey. That ain't a joke. Do you think there's do you think there's another hidden bolt on there? Yeah, there are hidden bolts. Well, that there's one. The part of this water pump goes above and beyond inside. Wow, so that's a, what's a 2008 uh, 350 we're doing a water pump. Yeah. And you All counted right. 15 bolts? Oh, and still counting. And still counting. Jesus. They're still coming out. They're coming out, you know. Okay, Mikey. Mikey, do us a favor, start this thing up. All right. Da, 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 da. Transmission fluid? Uh, power steer fluid, that's what they recommend. Okay. So same, you know, use same viscosity the, yeah. and all that? Yeah, same thing. Like, we're gonna let this idle here. Alright, we're gonna let this idle here. And, in case you were wondering, yes, our Ford is still, still warming and, uh, Still idling and keeping a good eye on it. Oh boy. What? We went from a Ford to a Lexus, or this is just a sneak peek. A little teaser. Oh, what is that? Oh, Jesus uh -oh. Christ. Fucking car, man. Oh, Jesus no. fucking Christ. The thermostat removal. Pain in my fucking ball, this guy is. Here comes the water pump. Finally. Ooh. It's a water pump, alright, Mikey? And it's a nasty one, too. What? You did what we had to do, right? Oh, yeah. Better make sure this guy comes in. We come at an O-ring here. Uh, it's a lot of intricate. Ooh, Jesus. Oh. It has been leaking, you can see. Telltale signs. Oh, yeah. Nice uh, cotton candy. Yeah. So whenever you see cotton candy anywhere in your engine, uh, it's a sign of a uh, water pump leak, thermostat leak. All right. We're testing out the power steering on it. Not noisy at all, that's a good sign. That other wine. That's a sick motor, huh? Yeah, that's pump maybe you know the pump is still doing a job but yeah. it's kind of getting noisy noisy doing a job at least we got no more leaks right so yeah basically uh, the truck came in because it had a leak so that's what we fixed stop the leak now when you realize the pump is kind of a little tired it's working a little too hard 
Oh, I, I don't know what these foot, footprints. Oh, somebody was up there what? doing that. Oh, oh, that's right. That was me. Nice and bright. You know what I think? Yeah. I don't believe this is even uh, power skin and wine. This is one of them pulleys whining here. Okay? No, it's, okay. Not, it's not related to power skin and wine. Mate. So don't let that fool you. I want to know what, though. Someone's really tired in there. Nice. This thing gonna be okay. You can get this thing out of here, right? Oh yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the show. Learned a little bit. Helped you out. Do um, your repair, replacement, your job a little bit easier. And as always, remember to like if you like the video. Comment if you want more, or if you have any questions or anything. And I accept direct comments too in the email um, as I've been getting them every so often. Uh, and subscribe for more videos. Till then, on to the next.